what better way to celebrate Love Day with a heart cake? Yes, a heart cake. Not of anything pink or red, but lemon. Lemon pound cake. That is what we're doing today. A good old lemon pound cake. So here are the ingredients. And the first thing we want to do with any cake is grease or grease your pan. I'm using this Nordic heart scallop shaped pan and some Baker's Joy. And I am going to spray that thing like no tomorrow because we know that pound cakes stick. They are notorious for sticking. We do not have time. Do not have time. Now this is kind of a dump cake, so everything goes in one. So first we're gonna start off with four sticks of salted butter. Yes, salted butter. One block of cream cheese, and then we're gonna cream everything together. Do not use unsalted butter. Well, you can, but you know, why add an extra step in there? Just, just use the salted butter. Now, add your three cups of sugar. I like to mix in between every single cup just to make sure that all of my sugars and butters are incorporated. This is cup number two. And cup number three. Okay, here, I just wanna show you guys what the creamy consistency looks like. You don't see any individual ingredients. All of them are combined in a creamy fashion. This is what you want. And clearly I didn't think it was enough because I went in with that mixer and started whipping it up again. <laughs> so now we're gonna add six large egg. Huh? Oh my God. Okay, listen, don't, don't put flour in there. Don't, I, I forgot the eggs and I was halfway through this thing. <laughs> Uh, don't do that, okay? Put your eggs in before you put your flour in. I was not gonna start this over. <laughs> so put your eggs in first. And yes, with each individual egg, you wanna mix everything together, okay? So this is egg number four. Egg number five. And the sixth and final egg. And after we mix our little egg in there, then we're gonna throw in our last cup of cake flour because you know we're doing everything out of turn apparently for this video. All right, and okay. Now we're gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla, one eighth teaspoon of butter flavoring, not butter extract, butter flavor flavor okay all right and i just like to use the top and i'm going to do the same thing with the lemon extract so it's about one fourth teaspoon of lemon extract this top is a little bit deeper and one large lemon so we are going to zest the outside of this lemon you don't want to go too deep you just want the yellow stuff you just want the yellow stuff when it starts getting too white the white rind is very bitter you want to stay away from the white rind so you see that cool that's where we want to be don't go deeper than that it's gonna be bitter all right so uh let's speed it up now i know what you're thinking i do not want to chew in this cake and chew rind and chew zest i'm not zesting the lemon do it you're not gonna taste it trust me i don't like chewing orange juice oh look at that ball just ball that's what we want all right so we want to juice that lemon so I just broke it in half and put it in my juice press. And this is the thing right here, the lemon pudding. Throw that whole box of lemon pudding in there. Oh, I'm so country, box of lemon pudding. Okay, and then mix it all together. Okay, so you see the texture of this cake, it's perfect this batter is perfect now me i'm extra i'm going to throw on some yellow food coloring because you know when you go to the grocery store you don't have a lemon pound cake that looks white on the inside it, your eyes have to match what you're eating so therefore i throw some dots in there to appease my eyes and you just combine it until you don't see any white streaks now you want to fill this pretty pan as evenly as possible. 
and I find it easy to turn the pan instead of turning the bowl because I have it pressed up against my body for some stability there. And you see me shaking it out and what I'm doing is beating the pan against the counter just to make sure that there are no air bubbles that bake in the cake. You always want to be sure to beat the pan against the counter to make sure you pop any air bubble. Yep, that's what you see me doing there. Shaking it out, evening everything out, and popping it on that counter a few times. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up these edges and I'm going to throw this in the oven. And for this cake, I baked it longer, but normally for any bunt pan, you want to put it on 325 for about an hour and 15 minutes. And then you want to check it after that time every 10 minutes. And it came out looking like this. Isn't this pretty, y'all? Look at this. I got to get a texture shot. Okay, it's a little, little burn right there, but it's okay. Look at this texture, y'all. Oh my gosh, you know that pound cake crust, that crust, that crust though. Mm. Delicious. So I got a bamboo, a bamboo skewer and pushed it down instead of a toothpick because it was such a deep pan and I pulled it out. Now with all of my cakes, all of my cookies, I do not pull out my tester so it can be completely clean because you're going to let this cake cool in the pan and I do not want that moisture out of the cake. So it's not too clean. I am good with this. Let it sit, let it cool. Now what I'm doing here. I want to check the edges of my pan. If it overfills, it's going to cool inside the pan. So it's going to harden on the edges and then it may collapse. It may do a little dip if in fact the edges are stopping it from cooling perfectly flat. So I try to push it away from the edge, but I can already tell with that little heart thing, I'm going to have a bit of a trouble, but it's okay. Yeah, it collapsed a little bit like I thought it would, but it's okay. So here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's hope it comes out. And she inverts. She doesn't feel the release from the pan. She's applying pressure. It's not coming up. Oh, oh, and it released. <gasps> Yo, have y'all ever seen such a pretty looking cake and it came out clean? <laughs> That's what we want. I just had to show you guys what it looked like coming out. It's still warm. You don't want to invert it warm, but I was, I, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. So I'm gonna start my lemon glaze while this is cooling. I'm gonna need lemon juice, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Before you juice any lemon, you wanna roll it just to loosen up all the goodness inside of there. And I didn't use two lemons. I actually just used one for this one. And I didn't specifically measure it out because you're really going for consistency here. You need a glaze that is thick enough to sit, yet thin enough to run. That is too thin. It's just gonna go straight to the bottom. So I add a little bit more sugar. And while I'm mixing, I add just a hint. I mean a hint. I mean a hint of vanilla. You see it? Look at you, you missed it, you missed it, you missed it. You gotta rewind it back and see it again, just a hint of vanilla. Okay, look, that consistency is a lot better. So, I want you to see what I mean by thin enough to pour, thick enough so it does not just run over. You see how it's sitting there for a while, it's thinking about going over and then it decides at the very last minute it wants to do it. See, that's the consistency you want. You want your glaze to think about it you don't want it just to, you know, rush to the finish line. <laughs> I have no sense. But look how pretty this is, guys. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. And you see, I know a lot of people in the comments or a lot of people looking at this video thinking I put too much Baker's Joy on that. You see how that cake came out though? Yes, ma'am, Pam. Okay, so now, girl, be quiet. Cut this cake. And look at that yellow. See, look at there. Look how it looks. So I'm going to give a little shot of the inside. I probably should have cut a bigger piece. But you see it's all yellow on the inside. And here is the shot. Look at this piece. It's all yellow. It's consistent. It is moist. 
looking at this cake. You cannot get a better slice than this. Look, look at how it cut me back. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Now, one thing I will say, for consistency's sake, please allow the cake to completely cool, completely cool before you invert it and put it on a pan. I did not at this time. McGreedy just wanted to show you guys what it looked like because I was so happy about the cake. But please allow the pan to completely cool before inverting the cake. It would have been even more moist than this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Like, comment, share, tell me how it went for you. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys the next video.